So, you thought defeating the Sparrow was it, huh? You thought that taking that portal would return you home. Oh, you silly little elf. This is only the beginning of your journey. For now, you have to face the wrath of the Outer Worlds. Welcome back to my 100% playthrough of Heretic. On the Black Plague difficulty for the PC, played through GZ Doom. We are also doing all levels with a wand start. And in this episode, we are going to the Ossuary. Yeah, the developers of this game for the expansion episodes were really picking up the thesaurus. So I'll pick up a dictionary too. And I'll tell you the Ossuary is a container or room in which the bones of dead people are placed. And now, this first level of this fourth episode is called Catafalque, which is a decorated wooden framework supporting the coffin of a distinguished person during a funeral or while lying in state. Yeah. We're gonna be wishing we were dead. I tried recording this earlier. I succeeded in doing the level, but I didn't record the footage. I just recorded the audio. So, <sighs> I'm going insane. So what that means is I'll have to uh, do the episode again. If you excuse me, I'm going to set it up. And now let us begin. For real this time. Okay. Take some time to get ready because you'll need it. Now. What you want to do is just bolt towards this ethereal crossbow. Kill the gargoyles here with the elven wand if you want. Or just try to push them into the crusher. Or bait them into the crusher by letting them charge or like fly in. Because he'll do all the damage for you provided you get them in. Heck, you might even get some infighting action going on. I'll deal with the stragglers with the uh, L1 here. So yeah, you might want to use this crusher more than I do, but um, it's fine if you don't use it too much. But you'll need to save ammo for this level because there is not a lot of it. So what you can do is basically let the fire gargoyle shoot at you when he gets into the crusher because he'll basically act like a turret <laughs> which is fine by me but since all of them are dead they were guarding silver shield and some crystal vials here which is always good now pressing this button here will lower this part because usually it's raised and you might notice the ophidian there and you might have heard the molotar from earlier yeah, yeah, there's some Saber Claws here too, and some more Gargoyles. Yeah, this level doesn't mess around. It has a Molotar on the first level of the episode. So, that's how serious this fourth episode is. You know you're in some deep shit when you have to deal with a Molotar on the first level. So... What you can do is probably get some of the Saber Claws to get hit by the Molotar. Provided he wants to actually throw any of these projectiles. I guess he doesn't want to do that right now. So what we'll do instead is go through this portal. There were gargoyles in there, but we'll deal with them later. I assure you. So just go wander to death. I know we have the crossbow, but we're saving them for these guys. What we can do is push them down onto the ground. Or they'll go into the room, or they'll go through the portal. Either way, they'll clear out this room. We can deal with them later. And later might be sooner than we thought. But, kill that gargoyle there probably one of the stragglers from the portal area and on this narrow walkway are some quartz flasks 
a morpho of them, which we'll be using later. And uh, more ophidians. But we're gonna go through this portal. We're gonna try to get the quiver, which we managed to do. Huzzah. Push that uh, fella down into the area with the saber claws and the molotar. And now that we have the yellow key, which we got from that area, uh, we are going to finally open the yellow door. So we're going to take some quartz flash, or one of them, and I'm going to reveal these fellas, these gargoyles and these saber claws. Now we can probably do the same thing, bait them into, or not, because they decide to get into infights. So I'll just pick them off while they're fighting. Deal with these uh, saber claws. In fact, I'm going to do it with the staff because I want to save ammo. Yeah, it's like if you have an opportunity to save ammo, use that opportunity. What you can do is hit the saber claw and back away so you can deal damage to it while it can't hit you. Speaking of which, you can also do this. You can also lure them into the crusher like the gargoyles. It doesn't kill them instantly, usually, but it does soften them up. But it did kill this one, so that's good. Sometimes it pushes them back, and if you're lucky, you might even push them into the uh, crusher if you lure them into this room. Thankfully, while this level doesn't have a lot of ammo, it does have a good bit of health, provided you don't lose any, or not too much. There are gargoyles in this room. You'll have to go in here to press a switch that will open up two doors, including one to the left, which has several disciples of the sparrow in a room here. So get rid of these purple throwing fucks. Don't worry about taking your time with them. You can play the peekaboo game with them. And, uh,. Yeah, this room is cleared out, so pressing this switch will lower where the quartz flask was, and you'll get some time bombs of the ancients. Now, I believe some of the saber claws teleported here. Interesting! Usually they don't do that, but I guess they can since they fit through the hole where the portal is, and I guess they can also go through the other portal too. <laughs> Anyways, now that we've done that, we can also go through here with more saber claws who we can use the time bomb on push them back lure them into one section make sure to like corral them into an area it'll soften them up for when you want to use the staff now be careful around them especially on black plague because they attack really fast, and you don't want to get cornered by them. But, if you can place the uh, time bombs right, and deal with them with the staff, you'll save ammo, and uh, you don't have to worry about them too much. Now, pressing these buttons will lower several parts of the stairway, or rather, raise them. And, uh, once you do that, stepping on this platform will lower this lift here. Now what you want to do is quickly grab the gauntlets of the necromancer, then go back on the lift at a very specific time. So, because a trap, two traps in fact, will have triggered, revealing fire gargoyles where you grab the gauntlets and a place with uh, disciples of the sparrow down where the saber claws were. So deal with them all. And you can play the peekaboo game with them. Yeah. That's all fine and dandy. So, we can go back up here because it had some crystal vials and uh, ethereal arrows. And like I said, we'll need all the ammo we can get in this level. Now, this raven wall opens up when you use it, but this wall opens up too. So what I suggest you do is open this up and place some time bombs here. In fact, place them all. 
Now make sure not to blow yourself up like I did. But that's fine, there are some crystal vials here. And down here are some saber claws, which I recommend using the staff on, because killing them with the gauntlets doesn't work out too well because it drags you towards them and they'll attack you through the uh, gauntlet attack, you know? Sorry, I'm just kind of focused on staffing them to death. <laughs> There's another one here. There are, uh, I believe, three in total. Dealing with them like this is probably the most easiest and effective way. Now you can go back here and get the lesser runes, or the greater runes even, but going through this area will lower a place with more gargoyles. Now you can deal with them with the staff or the gauntlets, or just try to lure them into the crusher, or you could actually use the uh, wand, but I'm going to lure them in here because I want to save ammo. And for my patience, I was rewarded with another crystal file, which I haven't picked up earlier. Now, I'm probably going to use this ammo to uh, deal with some of these bogeys down here. But first, I'm going to double check this area. Nothing here yet. But this place will have opened up, which reveals this portal on this side. So get the Morph Ovum ready and go through the portal. Why you need a morph of them? Because all these Ophidians are here. Yay. Use it on them. And if you're good, you'll get all five of the eggs to land. Make sure to kill all the chickens. And yeah, this part lowers. I'm going to grab the Grimes Claw, but I'm not going to ascend the elevator just yet. First, I'm going to go to this area with the skulls and open the area in between it to get a secret with uh, the chaos device and the energy orb. And now I have to go back down here with the molotar. Uh, I'm not going to fight him yet. Yeah, I'm not going to fight him yet. I don't have any weapons. Instead, I'm just going to grab these crystal vials here and go through the two portals and get out of here. What I'm going to do instead is uh, go through this portal again because I neglected to grab this Tome of Power here which is essential to dealing with the Molotar. And now I'm also going to climb this uh, elevator. Go up the lift and you'll be sent up to an area where you can drop down to get the green key. But when you do that Hello, Saber Claw. One of the leftovers, I guess. When you do that, these pl parts of the walls, which were raised earlier, will lower down, revealing Ophidians. So you can deal with them with the ammo you saved up. Now. I'm going to deal with the uh, Molotar right now, but you're wondering, how can you do that? How can you do that with... Ooh, that was close. But yeah, you're wondering how you can do that when you only have these uh, few weapons and this few ammo. I'll tell you what you can do. Power up the gauntlets and just attack him. His damage won't be able to out damage your uh, toned up gauntlets and their absorption powers. This is in fact one of the most efficient ways to deal with the Molotar on this level. So just keep doing it and make sure that your timing is near perfect if you want to deal with the Molotar this way because the amount of time they give you to kill the Molotar with the gauntlets is Almost perfect with the amount of time you have to use the uh, Toma Power and the Gauntlets. And phew, I was really close there. But, yeah, that's the most effective way to deal with the Molotar on this level. Because you save ammo. 
and saving ammo on this level is good very very good because they don't give a lot of it to you I mean they do give you a lot of uh, lesser and greater runes but uh, we don't have the hell staff yet but when we go in here we can get it right now so yeah that's a lot of gargoyles what we can do with the fire gargoyles is hit them with the wand I'm just going to deal with the fire gargoyles this way. Doing the good old hit scan Harry trick. Yeah, I believe they're all fire gargoyles. So that makes this part a little bit annoying. Now, when you go through this area, you'll want to open the middle wall here with the, the sparrow symbol. Staff this fella right here, the Saber Claw. Gius is all hell I know, but uh, it's good to save ammo. But you can use the ammo on these fellas. And pressing this button will have opened up some portals here. And the door over here. Which has a good friend of ours waiting for us. Yeah, the Iron Lich. Yeah, you missed him, right? He sure missed you. Did I mention there are a bunch of Ophidians here? That's also important. Yeah, I just wanted to deal with them. There are still some Saber Claws in here, which, interestingly enough, haven't been alerted to our presence till now. I'm gonna play Hit Scan Harry with this guy. Make sure he's good and dead. Wait for that annoying ass tornado to disperse. Maybe run away from it. You can grab a crystal vial here in a map scroll in this area. If you want to go for all the items. Which you probably do. Going through this portal will send you back to the area with the crusher. So um, it's only needed if you want an escape plan I guess. You can probably deal with these guys with the uh, arrows and the uh, hell staff. Now, when you go through this portal, you'll want to get the invincibility ring and use it the minute you get it. Because, I telefrag one of them, <laughs> you'll be facing several Ophidians. And I can't believe I telefrag one of them. But be quick, because. Uh, You'll need to use up the Ring of Invincibility and go through this process like four times. This place is a secret so you have to go through it if you want to get the secrets and I recommend doing it this way. Now that the Ring of Invincibility is worn out, you can just dodge your projectiles or try to and you'll be sent back here. You can probably hear them. Yeah. Yeah. Good thing we have this Shadow Sphere here, which we'll be using very shortly. Because there are four Iron Liches. Four! Count them, four! Ooh, and they hurt. Good thing I saved up these quartz blasts. So, uh, watch out for those fires. Watch out for the, uh, ices. And just dragon claw them to death. If you run out of dragon claw ammo, just use, uh, the hell staff. This is who we were saving the ammo for. And thankfully that we have the uh, Shadow Sphere, we want to deal with their tornadoes running at us. They're, they dropped a few more Phobums, but I ain't gonna use them. In fact, I'm just gonna shoot them at the wall, because I don't know if they'll drop for you. So, yeah. So when you step on their platform, these 
this area on the right will open up, and when you press the switch on there, this area will open up, and when you press the switch on there, this area will open up. And when you press the switch on here, this area will open up, revealing the exit. And we are done with Catafalque. This level is notorious for its difficulty. Some people think it's harder than Doom's E4M1, Hell Revealed, and uh, I might agree with them. <laughs> Cause that area with the four iron liches, and the Ophidians, and the Molotar, yeah, tough level, but I'm able to do it without dying. This is my second attempt, but only because I did the first attempt I completed it, but I didn't record the video for the footage for it. Yeah, that sucks, but I did it this time. But now that we're done with Catafalque, we'll be going to the next level, E4M2 Lockhouse, which we will do in the next video. But until then, toodaloo.